And we're back to this beautiful pink landscape. What's gonna happen? What is gonna happen? Hello, Tomasina. Hello. What is this? H who are you? I'm the one that saved your father. What do you mean? You were here, 25 years ago. My father? You were deep down, with the others. You were there, and something went wrong. I dragged him out. Impossible! I helped him then, and I can help him again. I, I don't understand. Believe my words. You'll find proof in morning. Now go. One more thing. This is not a dream. Goodness, that was a terrible sleep. And yet, the creature said it wasn't a dream, and there is a book now here. Everything else seems to be in order. So what is all this then? What's this? I'm thinking it has something to do with my father. There's a strange stone strapped to the cover. Day one. Arrived after a decent day's ride from Bakewell. This is a curious place. Locals seem distant. I'm to meet my local contact tomorrow, so it will be an early night for me. I shall try to keep a diary of my stay here, but and not give up by day three of the excavation as usual. Despite the thrill of possible new discoveries, I cannot stop thinking about my dear wife and wonder if I should have left her in her current state. I must have faith that she will conquer this bout of illness. Day four. True to form, my journal has been abandoned. Let that not speak for the excitement I feel for this excavation. After much preparation, we dig tomorrow. Such an exceptional site with a unique history. As for the dangers, we shall meet them head first. We are prepared. I also sought out a local wise woman yesterday, and she provided me with a tincture for my beloved's nausea, nausea gravidarum, so she was very nauseous from being pregnant. I'm sure she shall be pleased with it upon my return. Lo, a place of miracles. A planted seed sprouted before our eyes and illuminated our path. Nature's laws hold no meaning here, but I clutch my tablet with the knowledge that it shall end this. We found the code was simply in the singularity of the characters. All eyes must face towards the seventh Archontic. When the sun and the two moons meet, the guardian shall be defeated. Well, this is becoming a little, a little sus. sus. A dead language reveals the path. For thou art the moon, the chief of the stars. Listen to the things that I have said. Follow the words of my mouth. Reveal thyself to me. I heard a whisper, not once, again and again. I will pour out my spirit. It appears to be a journal, full of hogwash. I don't recognize the handwriting. Maybe Stanley knows more about it. Maybe. Definitely hogwash. Definitely will not be important at all. It's just the, the scribblings of a madman. Good morning. How's your head, Miss Bateman? That was quite the tune you treated us to last night. To be honest, Stanley, I felt better. I take it you slid this journal under my door? I beg your pardon? 
The journal, Stanley. I certainly did no such thing. Nor could have anyone else. You're the only guest staying here. What's the meaning of all this? Do you propose that it manifested itself out of thin air? Well, uh... Yes. He might be telling the truth. I'm not sure how I feel about good old Stanley here. I get the feeling that all the villagers are in on it. It's usually the case with, you know, villages that do a lot of sacrifices and stuff. Normal, normal things. But let's relent. I'm sorry. I just don't understand how else it could have got there. Are you sure there was no one else here overnight? Without doubt. How very, very peculiar. So, what does it say inside? A lot of... Um, a lot of weird things. I've been pretty upfront with everyone here, so let's show Stanley. Perhaps he can decipher it. Take a look. Take a look. Well, I can't make head nor tail of it. Neither can I. Maybe someone else in the village can help you with it. But who? Who would know? The priest, maybe? I'm not sure. What do you make of this stone? That's a funny-looking thing. It's got a cockerel on it. Yes, but have you seen anything like it? Never. Never. <laughs> Never. Do you ever have strange dreams, Stanley? Me? I sleep as sound as a baby. I had one such dream last night. It was so vivid. What were it about? I'd like to hear his thought. Explain the dream. Yeah. I was at Hobbs Barrow. Oh? But everything was different. Great peaks soared in the distance. And there was a creature. A creature, you say? Yes. A short, robed fellow. Eyes as black as pitch. It told me that my father had been there in Hobbs Barrow many years ago, but something went wrong and the creature helped him escape. It said that I would find proof in the morning. Oh! The journal! You've had a premonition, lass! Please, Stanley, I've no time for that nonsense. But I'll admit it's a strange coincidence. Now, what did I tell you about Hobbs Barrow? That I should leave it alone? Aye. Hogwash. Your dream reminds me of a story from my childhood. An old folk tale about Hobbs Barrow. I would like to hear this tale, but... My... my eyesight keeps getting distracted by this glinting thing over here. What is this folk tale you mention? Well, when I were a wee boy, there were talk of a goblin. They say he lived inside Hobbs Barrow, hence the name, Hobbs Barrow. Hob, coming from Hob Goblin, of course. Unfortunately, I don't remember anything else about it. I was told not to believe in such fairy tales, Stanley. Don't close your mind to such things, lass. I'm sure Mr. Shoulder will tell you more. Perhaps, if I ever meet him. Goodbye. See you soon. Good morning, Mr. Kemp. Good day, Miss Tompkins. I'm here for his lordship's paper. Sorry, lass. Mr. Price hasn't dropped them off this morning. I heard he actually left the village yesterday. Indeed. I can vouch for that. Ma'am? Good day. Oh, dear. His lordship won't be pleased. My sincerest apologies, Miss Tompkins. I'll come back in a few days. Ta-ra! Goodbye. Ta-ra! Who is Miss Tompkins? A housemaid in the employ of Panswick Manor. She comes by to pick up his lordship's weekly paper. I'm surprised newspapers are available in Bewley. Aye, his lordship gets what he wants. Lord Panswick likes to keep up with affairs from outside of Bewley. Aye, he has many interests around the country. What sort of interests? His Lordship's affairs are his own business. Goodbye. See you soon. Now, what is this? A knife? A knife? <sighs> Goodness me, I can't budge it. Be careful, Miss Bateman. You'll cut yourself. I spent all morning trying to get that bloody thing out. I shall be having words with that scoundrel next time he shows his face. Huh. Uh, 
purses. We have our very own Excalibur. It's all yours if you can pull it out, I King was thinking Arthur. the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> so how can we wiggle it out? Hmm, with a chisel maybe? I'm not sure. But we definitely want that knife. I do not wish to damage Mr. Kemp's table any further than it already has been. Um, I mean, it's already damaged. What's a little more damage? I do not wish to damage- Alright, we'll figure out how to get that out later. I don't need to use the filthy lavatories. Alright, so the, the hobgoblin was saying that all will be revealed in the morning. But where? And how? Right. I need to convince Mr. Bryden to let me excavate Hobbs Barrow and find out where this journal came from. Curses! I forgot I had this worm in my pocket. Poor thing is dead now. Rest in peace, Kenneth. Poor Kenneth, the dead worm. Was I supposed to do something with that worm? Maybe give it to the birds? Ah, uh, missed opportunity. Oops. She is busy setting up her stall. Oh right, there was a market going on today, I think. Big day. Good day. I'm still setting up my stall. Come back later. Oh, I'm sorry. Hmm. The cross denotes this as the site of a market. Hello, Father Roach. Feeling better? Good morning, Father Roach. Ah. Miss Bateman, what a pleasure to see you again. Have you tracked down Mr. Shoulder yet? Don't get me started. I'll take that as a no. Indeed. It's a resounding no. Do you recognize this journal? Hmm, what a tatty old thing. You ought to take better care of your possessions, Miss Bateman. It's not mine. Then whose is it? That's precisely what I'm trying to find out. I'm afraid I can't help you. I haven't seen it before. What do you make of this stone? Hmm. I don't recognize the symbol from any Christian iconography. Did you make it yourself? No, never mind. What brings you to the square today? I'm meeting a couple of young congregation members to go over some scripture. You're welcome to join us. Thank you, Father Roach, but I have quite a busy day ahead of me. We will be at St. Edmund's, should you wish to join us later. Thanks for your time. Lord be with you. That sounds terrible, but I might have to join them later, even if I don't want to. Ah, no baked goods today. Hmm. No baked goods that I can't buy, because Kenneth didn't send me any money. Nothing, uh, nothing particularly interesting happening in the church. So where should we go? Well, I guess I'll just explore the normal areas until something weird happens. Hello. Thomasina! Dude! <laughs> Good morning, Arthur. <laughs> you look a bit addled. Are you feeling all right? I am not used to drinking as much as we did. Aye, my head is pounding. To tell you the truth, Arthur, I've had a somewhat puzzling morning. Oh? Someone slipped this journal under the door of my room. Whose journal is it? I have no idea. The text refers to some sort of excavation. Well, Stanley must be playing tricks on you. He swore his innocence. I thought perhaps you might have done it? No, it wasn't me. That's for certain. Somehow I have a clear memory of last night. Weird. That's unusual for you, Arthur. I wonder who left me this journal then? Mind if I take a closer look? Please, go ahead. The writings of a madman. I don't disagree. Do the sketches mean anything to you? No, not at all. But they turn me stomach. You might want to show this to Mother Mildred. Who is Mother Mildred? Some think her a witch. A witch? Aye. She might be able to help you with the symbols. Where can I find her? She lives alone in a little cottage within Hearn Wood here. You shouldn't have too much trouble finding her. 
Thanks, Arthur. You're welcome. What do you make of this stone? It's a good shape for skimming across water. What is it? I'm not sure. It was strapped to the cover of the journal. How mysterious. I had a splendid time last night. I, I even remember most of it this time. Thanks for listening to me going on. I really appreciate it. The feeling is mutual. Thank you too, Arthur. I mean, Arthur is alright, but I don't get want to get too buddy-buddy with him. Shouldn't you be manning the station? The line is down. Track damage between Bewley and Bakewell. No trains for a day or more. Does that mean I'm stranded here? For the time being, Thomasina. Capital. Really capital. So, I'm stuck in this village of very strange people that do not like outsiders. Why do people think Mother Mildred is a witch? Just because a woman lives alone in the woods doesn't mean she flies about on a broomstick. There's more to it than that. They say she lays with demons. Who are they? Oh, you know, local folk. Hogwash. Some also go to her for potions and spells. Spells? Come now, Arthur. Truth be told, she's a nice old lady. I sometimes see her foraging in the brambles around here. Will she burn at the stake sometime soon? You might think us backward in Beulet, Thomasina, but we're not that backward. Sorry, Arthur. I only meant to tease. Goodbye. Tara. Oh, Arthur. You seem to be not involved in the witch-burning scene that goes on here. Maybe because you're out of it most of the time, you just don't notice it. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Flashback time! Thomasina, dear! Come say goodbye to your father! Come on now, don't make him wait! It's for the last time. I don't want to. Aren't you going to miss me? I hate you, Daddy! Those are strong words for such a little lady. I want to come with you! We've been through this, little bird. You can't come with me this time. But we'll go to Seabra next month. I promise. Oh, what a dig that shall be. I hate you! Well, I love you. See you soon, little bird. Hmm. <laughs> I fear that that was the last time uh, Thomasina saw her dad. Red Squirrel. Okay. I, I shan't be visiting the Badgers again. I was lucky to escape intact. You were. Ah, they finished the road work. Resin. All right. Resin has been oozing from the stump. It looks set now. Well, as far as I remember, it's flammable. The resin has set somewhat. It's firmly gripped to the stump. We can use something to pry it away from the stump. I've collected some waxy resin. Perfect. I've collected this lump of waxy resin. Ah. Ah. It's the old woman I saw at Bewley Station. Oh, that's right. The very inquisitive lady. Hello. They look somewhat like juniper berries. Maybe she's making another one of her potions. You know, gin. Please, forgive my intrusion. Are you Mother Mildred? What's it to you? Some call me that. I prefer Mildred Walker, given as that's my name. Fair enough. Apologies. Thomasina Bateman. I think we met at Bewley Station. I take it Panswick's men have cleared off. Good riddance. Those ruffians would cut their own noses off if he asked them to. I recognised you the moment I laid eyes on you at the station. I beg your pardon? Oh, yeah, it's quite a striking family resemblance. Oh, what? You have your father's eyes, Miss Bateman. 
You knew my father? Such piercing blue eyes he had. What a handsome young man, William. He was here, in Bewley. Oh, yes. A long time ago, mind. Twenty-five years by my reckoning. But I'll never forget those eyes. Well, it's not unexpected that she would have met him because we... Our father probably went to ex excavate Hobbs Barrow, given the dream that we had. Why was my father in Bewley? He were helping Samuel Bride and excavate Hobbs Barrow. You must be jesting. Do I look like I'm jesting? No? Question mark? <laughs> How did you come to meet my father? One might say I have a reputation in these parts. Folks from all around come to me for help with their ailments. Hernwood is abundant with flora that, if mixed correctly, will cure almost any ill. Your father must have caught wind of this, as one day he came to me, asking for a cure. A cure for what? Your mother was with child, and she was suffering the most terrible nausea. Adam. I made something to help her. The journal. This was entered in the journal. It belongs to my father. What journal? This journal. Take a look at this. A passage recalls meeting a local wise woman to seek a tincture for his beloved's nausea gravidarum. Aye, that's me. I made the tincture for him. This... this is incredible. You don't recognize your own father's handwriting. It's been so many years since I've seen it. What do you make of this stone? I... A... W. I haven't a clue. Perhaps it's an old folk trinket, or a talisman of some kind. The moors are steeped in folklore. Aren't you the right person to ask about... about folklore? Maybe? What can you tell me about the excavation? Well, not much. I only met your father twice. The last time he asked me if I knew anything about binding magic. Binding magic? He said he needed it for the excavation. Hogwash. My father is a man of logic and reason. Why would he be asking about such nonsense? Perhaps you don't know him as well as you think you do. Anyway, I know nothing of magic and told him so. He seemed disappointed. I never saw him again. But I understand the excavation went ahead. Samuel bride and hanged himself not long after. Reason enough for you to stay well clear of that place. Interesting. So my father got involved in some magical affair during the, ex ex during the excavation. Can we all agree to start using capital and hogwash again, because they are fantastic words? You never saw my father again after the excavation? No. I always assumed he just went home. Hmm. Who excavated Hobbs Barrow alongside Samuel Bryden and my father? From memory, it were just the two of them. What do you think my father meant by binding magic? I've no idea. He didn't explain more and I didn't wish to pry. Hmm. This just doesn't sound like my father at all. You'll have to ask him yourself. I'm afraid my father has been incapacitated since I was a child. He cannot speak nor move. Terrible. Oh, I I'm sorry. You said that the flora here could cure almost any ill. Almost, my dear. But your father's affliction sounds beyond my abilities. So, it cannot cure any ill. Third man. How do we know there was a third man? Charles Bryden mentioned there was a third All man right. involved in the excavation. Is that so? Well, you'd best ask him about it. He knows more than I do. The landlord of the Plough and Furrow told me about a folk tale associated with Hobbs Barrow. Something about a goblin. Are you familiar with it? No doubt there is such a tale. Name any beastie you can think of and someone round here will have a story about it. My thoughts precisely. But who would be Story Master? Can you tell me anything about Leonard's shoulder? I know of him, as is the nature of such a small town. I also know he invited you here. Little escapes you, Miss Walker. So they say. My path rarely crosses with his. Let's put it that way. But he's a nice enough fellow. I see. Do you know Lord Panswick? I know his labourers make a mess of these woods, the brutes. The man himself hasn't graced me with his presence. You've never met him? Not since he were a wee lad. 
A maid brought him to me with a sore stomach. It were all the rich food they were feeding him. Now more. Thank you for your help, Ms. Walker. But he must remember you then, since you soothed his uh, aching tummy. What are those berries you're picking? An ancient breed. No good for eating. However, they do have some medicinal qualities. I see. When you turn them into alcohol, can I go in your house? I shouldn't enter uninvited. Can you invite me in your house? We're going by vampire rules, and I guess human rules as well. I have nothing else to ask for the time being. All right. So thank you, uh, Mildred, for the information. Now we know that this journal is our father's, as we suspected. Yes. And that he went a little... a little insano in the braino. Hmm. Singularity, eyes, and... There's another word that was highlighted path. And I will pour my spirit. Well, we'll find out later what... Miss Bateman? Yes? Yes? Remember what I told you when we first met? You're better off waiting for the next train back to the city. Why? Something terrible happened to Samuel Bryden in that barrow. Whatever they found down there, I'd wager it got to your father too. Tell me you won't disturb Hobbs Barrow. I can't make that promise, Mildred. Can't say I didn't warn you. There is something unnatural about that place. We must seek to understand the world by rational means, Miss Walker. One cannot abandon reason. Mildred disagrees. Respectfully. <laughs> Thomasina? Yes? Thomasina, come here this instant. All right. I'm playing with Josephine. She can wait. This is very important. Hmm. <laughs> All right, we get to walk around as baby Thomasina. I'll be back soon, Josephine. Why don't you just take her with you? I'll be back soon. All right, I can't. Hello. Hello, statue. <laughs> Are you giggling because of the pixelated boobies? What is it, Mummy? It's... it's your father. Daddy's home? No, my dear. I must go to Bakewell with haste. Miss Bowes will look after you whilst I'm gone, is that clear? Where's Daddy? He's had... an accident. What happened? He's come off his horse. Silly Daddy. Will he be alright? Um... Of course. Of course he will be fine. Your father is as strong as an ox. But I need to go collect him, alright? Can't I come too? No, dear. Miss Bowes will look after you. But I want to come. Go pick up your dolls, then come inside, alright? Yes, Mummy. Dad is as strong as an ox that got paralyzed. Mummy looks worried. She really does. Go pick up your dolls, then yes, come Yes, Mummy. mummy. Josephine? Josephine, it's time to go inside now. Josephine, I send you all my love. Oh, okay, that was quick. Where did mommy go? Hello? <laughs> Rude. <laughs> No more squirrel this time. I get the feeling in these woods that I'm being watched by some ancient presence. I helped him then, and I can help him again. Hmm. Th uh, hey! This must be happening on purpose. Hmm. But maybe the... Oh, okay. You okay, Arthur? Are you peeing? He's staring intently into the woods. It feels like every screen <laughs> is another uh, disturbing activity. Arthur! You won't believe it! The journal belongs to my father! 
He was here in Beaulieu. Something's wrong. Arthur? Arthur? Hello? Arthur? Oh, sorry. I'm trying to remember something. What is it? I'm not sure. Something in the woods. It will come back to me. Look at me, Arthur. You say your father were in Beaulieu? Yes. Mildred said that he helped Samuel Bryden excavate Hobbs Barrow 25 years ago. Well, I'll be. Let's talk about it tonight at the plough. It seems like he's possessed. Arthur, I must tell you about the dream I had. I was at Hobbs Barrow and there was a creature. It told me it saved my father from something inside and that I would find proof of this in the morning. Sure enough, when I awoke, the journal was in my room. Mildred confirmed the journal belonged to my father. The creature told me it could help my father again. I mean, it was merely a dream. I don't know what to think anymore. Arthur? Arthur, are you listening? Fine then, we'll talk later. I hope you piece together your memories. Something's up with Arthur that we're not seeing. Maybe his eyes went all the way up. <laughs> He's staring intently into the wood. I'll leave him be for now. Hmm. Can I uh, whack him with this? I'm not sure they would be interested. Hmm. All right. You do you, Arthur. You weirdo. Bewley Station is closed for the time being due to track damage between Bewley and Bakewell. We apologize for any inconvenience caused. Right, so I am uh, th really, really, really stranded. It seems an age ago that I arrived in Bewley. Book it off! Ah, the unmistakable charm of old Cyril. At least some things remain constant. Hello, Mr. Crozier. The blacksmith is toiling away. Good day. Hey up. Hey up. Look at this, Mr. Crozier. It's my father's journal. Oh, I? Why are you showing me? Did you slip it under my door last night? Ha! Have you gone daft? Why would I have your father's journal? Never mind. Did the sketches inside mean anything to you? Looks like a load of rubbish to me. I found out my father visited Bewley 25 years ago. William Bateman, perhaps you remember him? I would have been just a lad. What were he here for? That's what I intend to find out. As far as we know, same reason as I'm here, to excavate Hobbs Barrow. What do you make of this stone? Don't look like out to me. Are you familiar with any local folklore? Oh, why? The old cobbler used to tell me some right stories. Swore he sold a pair of boots to a goblin when he were a young man. A goblin, you say? I take it this cobbler was a regular at the Plough and Furrow? Never drank a day in his life. Sober as a judge. Have you been to the Devil's Toe? Yes, I'm familiar with the cairn. Some say they've seen the goblin's daughter there, playing her fiddle. Can't say I've seen her myself, mind. Where does that come from, sober as a judge? I'm pretty sure they got very much bribed and very much drunk all of the time. Do you know any other stories about this goblin? I don't have the time to be standing here gossiping about old wives' tales. Apologies. I'm having some trouble extricating a knife from a table in the plow and furrow. Might I borrow a pair of pliers? A knife, you say? I can get that out for you. That's very kind of you, Mr. Crozier. Think nothing of it. Wait here. I can go with you, but... That's awesome. Thank you, Mr. Crozier. That were a struggle. Here you are. Thank you so much. Thanks for your time. Hi. Speak to you later. Ta-ra! Right, now we have another weapon. A better weapon than the rest of the things in my inventory. I should be careful. The blade is sharp. Perfect.